Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the T-Motor X90 Long Range Oriented 1300 KB motors. In this video, I'm going to bench test these motors using my new thrust stand and then using a new 7 inch build, head outdoors and test them out. In terms of specs, the new T-Motor F90 motors are available in two KV options, 1500 KV and 1300 KV, which is the version that I'm going to test in this video. Both versions are compatible with up to 6S batteries when using them with 7 inch propellers. In addition, the weight of the motor, including the full length of the 23cm long 20 gauge silicon wires, is 47.3 grams. Along with the motor, you are getting some stickers, a cable sleeve, and a bag with two motor nuts, a heat shrink, 3mm screws for mounting the motor, and spare screws and washers for securing the motor bell. The motor bell is secured using a 2mm hex screw. And here you can see the inside of the motobell and the stator after removing it. In order to reduce weight, the motobell is using a hollow shaft. On its top side you can find the usual grip pattern for better securing the propeller. And inside the motobell you can find 14 magnets. As for the stator, its diameter is 28mm and its height is 6.5mm. So the T-Motor F90 are 28 or 6.5 motors. You should note that the T-Motor F90 motors are using 19 by 19 mm mounting pattern, so make sure that the frame that you are going to use is compatible with these motors. Initially, I planned to use the HLRC Sector V2 7 inch frame, but unfortunately, this frame is compatible only with 16 by 16 mm motors, so eventually, I ended up using the Gepper C Mark II 7 inch frame, which is compatible with both 16 by 16 and 19 by 19 mm motors. Now I'm going to show the thrust test results of this motor using 6 and 7 inch propellers and using 4, 5 and 6S batteries. After the thrust test, which by the way its results are going to be included down below, I'm going to show you some flight footage using this new 7 inch build. Unfortunately, in this build I had terrible issues with the video where the OSD was flickering. I managed to reduce the issue by better grounding the system and using an LC filter, however the problem was still present mainly when using 6S batteries and on top of that I had radio issues, so I couldn't get too far. In terms of flight time, I got about 8 minutes using a 3300mAh 4S battery when a GoPro Session 5 camera was mounted on the drone, and I think that for better flight time and also for better performance, you should use around 2500mAh 6S battery in case you are going to use a similar setup. The weight of my 7 inch setup, which is specs I'm going to include down below, is about 475 grams. And the weight of this battery is about 364 grams, making the all-up weight, including a GoPro Session 5 camera, just over 912 grams. So overall, as far as I can tell, the T-Motor F90 is a decent option for an efficient long-range motor, and now I'm going to show the thrust test results, and also the flight footage. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.